Hey guys, welcome to a brand new tutorial, this time about the storm. But first, I want to thank you all for your support. The likes, the comments, the subscriptions, and of course, using code JKNA in the item shop. I appreciate it very much. Okay, let's talk about the storm. So, we need the storm devices. There are three, the basic storm controller, the advanced storm controller, and the advanced storm beacon. Now this one looks very much like that one, but this is the beacon and that's the controller. Okay, let's start with the basic storm controller. If you already know how this works, you should check my other video, part two, about the advanced storm controller. We want the basic storm controller to generate a storm from the start. We can set the initial radius and the end radius 300 meters looks like this. By the way, on a grid island, one square is 5 by 5 meters. So now we have a basic storm, and in game it looks like this. In the settings, you see wait time and delay time. Delay time is the time before the storm starts to form. Wait time is the time before the storm starts to shrink. You can set the damage from none to instant elimination. On the finished behavior you can choose between stay or destroy instantly or within a couple of seconds. That's about the storm. The storm is destroyed, not the players or anything. Looks like this in game. Maybe a bit weird, but I'll come back to that later. You can also let the storm move at the end. You choose a minimum move distance, a maximum move distance and a move time. Personally, I wouldn't recommend using this setting because the storm moves to the beacon first and then to the safe zone. But in game, you always want to go to the safe zone, so that's very confusing, I think. If you want a moving storm at the end of the game, you should use the advanced storm controller. You can also use channels to generate a storm or destroy a storm. Let me show you a nice example. You want to practice your tunneling or you want to create a box fight map with a moving storm. Then you should use something like this. You see the storm is moving towards the end zone but I want it to end over here. storm is coming and when it reaches the end of the box it disappears another storm forms and starts to move in the opposite direction I placed two basic storm beacons and as you can see the circles are just outside of the box the storm takes exactly one minute and 17 seconds to travel to the end of the box. So I used the timer and a few triggers. 10, 5, and 2 seconds. The last trigger then sends a signal on channel 4. The first storm is generated on the start of the game and is destroyed by the signal from channel 4. The second storm generates when receiving from channel 4. And of course it doesn't generate from the start. Well that's it for this tutorial. I hope it helped you. And if it does, well, leave a like. Bye.